how exactly do I enter flow state at any given moment? Now listen to these five tips I'm about to tell you right now. Hi, my name is Daniela and today I wanted to talk about how to enter flow state and why flow state is so essential to reaching a maximum level of productivity. Flow state can simply enhance your artistic process. Imagine this, you're fully absorbed in your artwork right in front of you. You're able to be so present. It seems that time stands still, although hours are passing you by. You have no distraction. Imagine yourself fully immersed in your work and engaged. You're able to perform the best when you're fully present. I also wanted to share how exactly do I enter flow state at any given moment. Now listen to these five tips I'm about to tell you right now. You have to, number one, set your environment right. Find a space where you can let out your creativity and really a space where you feel comfortable and inspired and really excited to create. This is really key. Eliminate all the distractions, dim the lights, shut the door, put your headphones in, and just get fully immersed in your work. Clean your space and make sure your space is a clutter-free zone, just so you have no other external distractions and things that you know you have to get done because that can really kill your productivity. So I find that you can be the most productive and creative in a clean space because you have no other chaos or clutter on your mind. It really allows you to be more clear headed and your external environment really does impact your internal. Set specific achievable objectives for your creative ideas. Whether you're mastering a certain technique or actually just wanting to complete a certain section of your artwork, it's so important to have specific, small, big, just goals about what you need to do and the tasks that you need to complete to make sure you're on the right track. Having well-defined goals actually keeps you motivated because when you're able to take it off on your to-do list, you feel the sense of accomplishment and motivation to keep going and keep getting it done. My third tip to entering a flow state is to actually challenge yourself because if you're in your comfort zone, you're not able to progress. You're not able to enter the space because the space is about challenge yourself just enough where you're still learning and you're still engaged you're still excited to do what you need to do because if it's too challenging if it's too difficult you might just give up but if it's too easy you're not really learning or pushing yourself to your fullest potential so i really urge you to challenge yourself and this can allow you to enter a flow state where you have to figure it out take new risks simply push yourself just slightly push yourself in the right direction you know nobody's gonna come and save you so i suggest you save yourself you know if you want to learn a new technique if you want to learn something new nobody is going to spoon feed it to you so you have to get excited and have this urgency to get what you need to do um done done try experimenting with new techniques new styles new mediums you know try 3d art try 2d art you know try graffiti um try coloring you know really really push yourself my fifth tip on entering a flow state is actually to embrace failure and explore more embrace the setbacks because those are more opportunities for growth and learning than anything else Mistakes are natural and actually so important. Remember, it's about the process. It's not always about the end result. Keep that in mind. And I really wish you luck on your journey. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe down below. I will take some more video suggestions. If you have them, don't forget to comment. Bye. Love you.